Victor, the market uh, under pressure the, for, the, uh, for the full of the last week, losing for five days, shedding 329 basis points. Not a good start to this week. On Monday, the market shedding 2.2%. Volumes also severely depressed, what, $5 million on Monday. Do we expect this trend to continue as the market reopens today? Uh, well, indeed, um, the market has been under pressure, like you noted. Um, a lot of it, obviously, on account of um, some of the more global um, challenges with respect to growth and um, opportunities across the um, you know, leading markets. Um, it, it, it stands to reason that, um, given that a good chunk of, of the activity in our market on the boards is driven by foreign institutional investors um, who are obviously concerned with what is going on um, in the more developed markets where they've got um, a lot of their stakes, um, we'll be watching keenly to see what happens in these markets. Um, indeed, we expect the pressure to continue today, but then again, um, a lot of market activity, like you noted, um, has begun to taper out. Um, volumes were down significantly on Monday, um, so we expect that there will be um, largely um, a lot of standby activity in the sense that we will not see much um, um, activity on, on the part of these investors today. Where could we see most activity on the stock exchange, given the fact that we've seen a generally broad-based sell-off, especially in the banking sector? Um, the banking sector obviously continues to present challenges. Um, we've seen a lot of sell-offs, um, despite the fact that there seems to be you know, a lot much um, um, greater clarity as to um, the direction of the reforms and in terms of a timeline to, to, to for, for a, a, a smooth um, cut-off, as it were. Um, and the concerns also have spread. Um, the, the, the banking sector depressed um, uh, sentiments in the market, um, and we've seen that spread to even you know the more um, stable consumer goods space, as it were. Um, significant um, downturn on, on Monday was um, um, driven by Dangote Cement, for example, uh, which in our books is, is a stock that one should accumulate at, at the moment. But then again, yeah. um, th there seems to be a lot of concern generally uh, over the performance of the board, and ha that has informed a lot of revisions by you know a good m many analysts. Let's take a look at Dangote Cement, because that stock uh, has been under pressure in the past few sessions, as you say, falling by the maximum 5% on Friday, is that a result of foreign investors pulling out of the uh, stock, of course, the largest listed stock on the exchange, or is it company-specific details? There are some uncertainties over when the company will issue more rights. It is, it, it is only listed, it has only listed 5% of its stock to date, and it is uh, mandatory that it, re that it lists around 25% of its stock by next year, September. Um, yes, indeed. Um, the concerns with Dangote Cement, in, in our view, are not necessarily um, in, t in tandem with the general uh, overhang with respect to the market. Um, I think some of it is more company-specific, um, not necessarily from a performance or operating standpoint, um, but I think a lot of it is driven um, by concerns with the liquidity and obviously the, the free float. Um, as it were, Dangote is, like you said, um, only listed to up roughly 5% of its um, total market, uh, total shares of standing. That obviously has to rise to 25, um, you know, based on, on, on the trading rules. And um, management I, I hasn't given any indication of when they are looking to issue that new stock. Um, th that precisely is the issue. There is, there hasn't been um, very much communication on that singular note, um, much unlike um, you find with respect to the results and performance. Um, but that said, um, the, the, the guidance that was issued at the time the stock was listed um, gave an indicator as to the fact that we expected that process to be completed um, sometime next year. Um, and in, included in this is, is potentially a listing on the London Stock Exchange. Um, the timing, um, size, and a lot of other details and specifics that go into this have not been communicated by management. And I guess um, that is potentially why we've seen um, significant um, you know, sell down. Um, like you noted, on, on the part of foreign institutional investors. Victor, very quickly, it's a spring day, of course, today, and at CNBC Africa, we're focusing on green business initiatives. Over in Nigeria, is there an increasing focus on issues around sustainability and addressing uh, sustainability as the economy surges ahead and powers ahead, growing by expected 7% this year? Because we've seen uh, in the likes of Kenya with the growth of the renewable energy sector there, of course, renewable energy feeding into that grid. What type of prominence is uh, green business given in the minds of the corporate sector in Nigeria? Um, I, I think, and this is my personal view, um, the, the concept of green or sustainable business is still um, pretty uh, much in its infancy in Nigeria. Um, a lot of you know, corporate executives, perhaps in my view, are more focused on sustaining the business itself 
and ensuring that um, profitability and um, you know robust earnings growth is is for them the key key focus as it were. Um, but then again, that said, um, there is um, some level of um, there is increasing awareness basically on the concept of green um, business or green energy use. Um, you know, in, as as part of the reforms to the energy sector, and you know, given what is going on with with the power, um, you know, focus on power and you know, improving power supply in Nigeria, um, there are people who have you know voiced concerns regarding the use of fossil fuels and perhaps depending on on gas as 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 a singular source of um, energy driver. Um, so we're beginning to see a little bit of diversification. But then again, um, we recognise that. Um, there has been very limited mm. uh, application on a wider scale for green technology in terms of large scale power generation. So um, perhaps that is potentially why it hasn't gained as much traction. As we've seen on in, the on uh, east side. of the continent. Thank you very much for joining us this morning, uh, Victor, Victor Ndekubo, uh, Head of Research uh, Group at Afri Invest.